This guide gives you a bit of a run through in the new video editing app that comes with Windows 10. This is a replacement for the Microsoft Movie Maker that came with Windows 7. So let's just show you it. So first of all, to open it up, just move your mouse over the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, left click once, okay, and then on your keyboard type video space editor. And then after a couple of seconds, under best match, you'll see video editor app. Move your mouse over that, left click once. The video editor app has now loaded, so move your mouse over new video project and left click once. It will now ask us to name our video, so let's just give it a name. So I'm just going to call mine holiday and then move your mouse over OK, left click once. So it's saying your project library is empty. Now this is where we put our pictures or our videos, the things that make up the, the video that we want to make. So move your mouse over, add, left click once. And I'm, in this example, I'm going to select some photos from my PC. So I'm just going to move my mouse over from this PC and left click once. And then we get the browser window appear. So we find the pictures that we want to add. Now, I can add them one at a time if I want, just by clicking on the photo I want and then left click open. Or if I wanted to add more than one picture at a time, what I can do is I can click the first picture that I want and then hold down the CTRL key on the keyboard, which is the key in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard and just keep clicking all of the photos that I want to include. Then let go of the CTRL key and then move your mouse over open and left click once. And there we go, it's now added the um, photos to our project. Now, first of all, what we can do is we can add a title card, which gives you like a, a title as such. So move your mouse over, add title card, left click once, and there we go, there's our title card there, but obviously we want to edit that title card. So just right click on the little title card down the bottom of the screen and go to edit and then go to text. So we've got a couple of animated style text here that we can uh, use. So let's just have a quick look through them. So we've got this, we've got that title adventure there we go that one's a good one for holiday so and then i just click in title just up the top there okay and let's just call that holiday and we've also got other options here to change the layout so we can adjust it to the top to the left we can uh, play around with it like that so there's, there's loads of different options on there i'm going to go with that one that one looks quite good so once I've done that, I click done. And now I want to add my photos to the, uh, uh, the, the timeline. Now, we've also got an option here for duration. So it says, how long does this slide appear? So if I want to make the title uh, appear for longer, I can click duration and say, right, I want it for seven seconds. OK, so the, the title is going to last for seven seconds. So now what I do is I drag my photos down in the order that I want them to show in. And let's just drag the next one there, and the next one there, and the next one there, and the next one just there. Now, if I got a photo in the wrong place, I'm gonna move it. All I do is I just move the photo. So left, hold down the left mouse button over the photo and drag it to the left or the right, depending on wherever I wanna put it. So like I say, these, these uh, figures here say, right, okay, the title card is going to be displayed for seven seconds and these photos are going to be displayed for three seconds. Now, I can change the duration of each photo individually if I want to just by clicking on the photo and then clicking on duration or I could select a batch of them. So if I click on the little box in the top right hand corner of each photo, and then click duration there. I can say, right, I want each of these photos to display, be displayed for five seconds. So there we go. And that's gonna be displayed for five seconds. So let's just change that one there so that it's also uh, gonna be displayed for five seconds. So let's just click that five seconds. There we go. So I'm just gonna take the ticks out of these photos now. 
okay because there are other options here we can add text to any of the photos so if we want to overlay any text to any of the photos we can do that so let's just call that one house and I can determine whereabouts I want to put the uh, the text so I'll just put that in the bottom right hand corner there and then click done um, we've also got other options here we can add camera motion to it if we want to so we can zoom in to the center if we want and all I do is I just click on the little play button down there just to preview the slide and there we go and we've also got an option for 3D effects there. We've got loads of little options here. So we can have butterflies, we can have all different, all different things. So let's just do that butterflies. Now, this one I tried it earlier, didn't work too well on mine. So uh, I'm just gonna try adding it to here. Let's just determine when the effect starts. So just by sliding this slider at the bottom here, I can do that so the, the effects gonna start right at the very start of the video so let's just press the play button and there we go butterflies I just click done once I'm happy with that we've also got an option to put filters in so let's just select another another slide there so click filters there we can make it inky if we want loved pixelated arcade so uh, there are loads of different different filters here that we can use if we want so i'm going to use iceberg on that one just click done there so we can also add background music to the uh, the slides so if i click background music at the top there we've got all different types of music here that we can add to the, uh, the the video and we can also tick this box that says sync your video to the music beat so let's just give that a, uh, a run through and there we go so that's our that's our video there um, other things we can do is this here is remove or show black bars so if I click on that let's remove the black bars and that zooms in a little bit to stop the black bars coming up you've got a rotate here so if you wanted to rotate the photo you could do and we've got a bin there if you want to remove that photo and the three dots there is more and that's removes all of these when you're ready to publish your video then you can just click finish video just up here okay and it then asks you what quality you want your video to be in so you've got high 1080p medium which is 720p or low which is 540p and uh, and then you've also got more options there so you can use hardware accelerated encoding so it makes exporting faster so i'm going to set mine to medium there and then i'm just going to click export okay and it's going to ask us where do we want to export our video file to so i'm going to shove this in the videos folder so i'm going to left click videos there and that's it it's giving it a name holiday so we'll leave it as that but you can change it there if you want and then I'm going to click export now this part can take a long while and your computer will probably seem like it's frozen up while it's doing that especially if you've got a lot of photos or videos that you've added so please be patient with it there you go mine's done and there we go it's giving me a preview of the video the the motion on the video on this one isn't very good because of the uh, type of uh, uh, software I'm using to record the screen. It's looking a bit jerky, but hopefully yours should be much better. So there you go. That's the uh, video editing app that comes with Windows 10. Hope this guide helps and thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.